What is going on with Bitcoin, guys? The market has crashed. We need to figure out exactly what is happening so you guys can be fully aware and up to date. Let's not waste any time and let's get into it. So looking at Bitcoin right now, the price is 60,800. And look at this, guys. This was the lines that we were talking about watching. All right, guys, this region of liquidity right here, this bouncing region here. But the first point that we were talking about was right here where this arrow is, which is exactly where the CME gap was. And look, We've come down to retest that perfectly. Now, if you want to uh, make the best of the current market situation, I would say dumping all your money into the market right now is not a great idea. You want to slowly DCA into the things that you believe in because things can get a lot worse from where we sit right now. So slowly DCAing, not getting over leveraged, using uh, stop losses and risk management as we've been discussing here on the channel because that is how you keep yourself safe in this market overall. Of course, on the way down, your stop losses, you'll lose some money because that's how trading works. But hopefully, hopefully, if you watch videos like this where I discussed the reasons why I take profits because none of us know exactly what is going to happen. I posted this 11 hours ago, basically explaining how we don't know where the tops of the bottoms are. And that's pretty much exactly what's happened with our trades that we've been talking about here on the channel. They've all pulled back. SUI is still up quite significantly, but most of them have pulled back. And, most, and, and that's how you protect yourself because we don't know what will happen. And I really want you guys to understand this. And I don't want you guys to get wrecked in moments like this because moments like this are here for taking the opportunity. All right, dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin, for example. Dollar cost averaging into uh, Ethereum, for example. You can see over here uh, on the trades, this Ethereum trade, we got our two Ethereum here, uh, unrealized. We're down $200, but this is exactly what I was talking about. Same with the XRP if you've been watching those trading videos. This is what we want to see, right? We want to see the price come down. Two, four, five, one. So from here, let's just go over here, isolated market, and we're going to buy uh, one more Ethereum. And we're going to add it. And I may add another one, uh, depending on what happens here, but slowly DCAing into the position, right, as we go down is, is uh, what we want to do. Because we need to be able to take advantage of these moments, all right, guys, these moments in time. Now, what is going on, all right? What is happening? So what is going on, guys? We're seeing this news hit the headlines, and it's not great, guys. It's not looking good. It is looking like an escalation, and things could get still worse from where we are right now. But at the end of the day, this is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And we can see, we spoke about this yesterday. This was the reason for the first drop-off yesterday, and... It's not looking good, right? It's not looking good for the world at the moment. Not looking good for our portfolios, but also not looking good for the people of the world. And of course, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone. So the market is in fear, uncertainty, and doubt about this right here. And that is sending shivers down the spines of investors, pushing them to sell. And of course, altcoins have been affected much worse than Bitcoin. But we know this, all right? We know that this is what happens. Bitcoin is affected much less than the altcoins. And this is why I'm very heavily weighted towards Bitcoin and much more comfortable holding a huge amount of my portfolio in Bitcoin. With that said, guys, the altcoin season is still intact or the build to the altcoin season is still intact. We have this growing. And guys, I do actually have some good news to share with you. I don't know if you noticed there, but we have a filing for the XRP ETF. A Bitwise spokesperson has confirmed to Cointelegraph that the filing submitted on the Delaware government website is official. So an XRP ETF. So all of this nonsense today, plus an XRP ETF on the same day, which is pretty wild. All right. So hopefully this is actually great news for XRP. Right. Hopefully XRP hasn't moved on this news and it is so far just a rumor. But this could be a great DCA opportunity right here, depending on how you want to play it. But with that said, if you guys do want to DCA into any of these trades, into any of these coins, both on the spot market or on the leverage market, it's totally up to you. Remember, I have this $100,000 deposit bonus waiting for you guys. This is for whale traders. And if you're a whale trader, you know a day like today is a great opportunity for those profits if you're going against the crowd. And that's what we're going to talk about in just one second. And there's VIP2 waiting for you down there in my description. So everyone who signs up using my link will get VIP2, which is 10% off your trading fees and a VIP account 
on JumpX. And guys, they got the spot market. If you want to use the spot market, they got copy trading, they got futures, and the links are down there in the description. And what is the good news, right? Look at this. <laughs> this is absolutely insane, guys. This is the most insane flip that I've ever seen. The market has literally flipped on its head here. And we spoke about this just now, how I figure out when uh, is a good time to long and basically expect bearish action. But look at this, guys. We got $7 billion worth of short liquidations at 73000 We now have $6 billion of long liquidations at 53. So we still need to wait for the longs to go down a little bit. We need the market to get even more scared, even more against it. So trade retail are now trading, right, short on the market. Just yesterday, it was the opposite. And look at this, on the week, we are completely short. The market is short, right? The longs have been liquidated, the longs have been closed, and the market is short right now, which makes me bullish, all right? Because I told you guys, short term, we're gonna have some turmoil because of the way people are trading. And we're down almost 10%. A 10% move on Bitcoin that has not destroyed the uptrend. Right, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, which is great, guys. We're bouncing off a liquidity zone, which is perfect. We may still have this wick down to the 57. That was my uh, point that I do think is still possible. We may still have that. Of course, we do have a lot of liquidity down here as well. All of these things are possible. But as we speak, it's not as bad as it seems. And we do have some of those bullish things uh, to look at. All right. This is great. This is great. If you are a trader and you're looking for a, uh, uh, some confirmation that right now might be a great time to get ready. Now, I'm not telling you what to buy, guys, but I do think that now is a much better opportunity than it was a couple of days ago, especially with altcoins, especially with Bitcoin, especially with Ethereum and that sort of thing. So if you want to trade, the link to JumpX is down there in the description. Make sure you use good risk management. All right, guys, we can see over here in our Margex account, the Dogecoin trade has been closed because it hit stop loss. The stop loss was at break even. There was also another trade that also hit stop loss. That was at break even. There was also a bunch of trades that I've had open that have hit my break even stop loss or slightly in a loss. But because I've taken so much profit over the last week, I am still in a profit. And that is how we stay profitable over the long term because we do not know what events will hit us. And that's exactly what we've happened uh, during this day or during the night, depending on where you are. So with that said, hopefully I've tried some value. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening in this market, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one.